Is there an echo in here or is it just me? <laughs> funny joke. <laughs> Did you like my funny joke? It had all of the elements of a joke, which I will now recount one by one in all of their components. I don't know. I don't know what they are. Can somebody help me? Oh, you can see the. Is there an outline around the frame? Maybe that's intentional. Oh yeah, this, there's definitely supposed to be a frame. Gotcha. My name is Seada. I'm a weaver. I use my thread to tell the stories, great and small, of our people. Stories like the one about a child who saved our valley. The story of my son, Echo. Life gave him many things, except the sense of sight. His ears, though, reveled in the legends I loved to tell him, the same ones I turned into tapestries for our village's temples. His favorite was the one about the serpent god that came down from the sky to lay a sacred egg in the heart of an ageless tree, the mother tree. But despite the beauty of the legends, the world was forgetting the gods. Soon, word came of a man from another valley who was raising an army to claim, steal, and enslave. This was no legend, but a brutal reality that hit our village among many others. Echo was still a child. One day he went to play outside and never came back. Ever since that day, I've searched for him, called for him, cried for him, in vain. Still, there may be a way, a hope, and it started with one single thread. Why is that egg breathing? Uh, are there any options I should really change in this one? Not particularly, not unless we're like, yo! We can have it in French. And that's it. Is that French? Am I, am I mixing it up? I'm sorry. I'm bad at flags. That's basically it. Gyroscope on will be interesting. Let's see how it takes... How it makes use of that. Really nice art style so far, although none of it's been gameplay. I'd be astonished if the game looked like that. I don't think it does. Chapter 1. The Serpent God. Somewhere, Echo was dreaming. And the stars, who are the daughters of the night, knew it. From up here we see everything, they said. Weave the bond that unites us, and we'll lead you to your son. I just had to draw an imaginary line to connect these stars. This is where it's worth mentioning that, I've, as far as I'm aware, I think this game's on phones, but it's also here on the Switch. Uh, I think this game's mostly designed to be played in handheld mode where you can use the touch screen, but I can't record that, so we're gonna be awkwardly using the joystick. But uh, if you were to choose to get this game for yourself, you could probably play it with the touchpad and it probably plays a lot better. Why didn't that connect? Is it this one? Oh, ha! Ah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. If you're, uh... Okay, so I gotta go up here. Trying to stay my trembling hand, I drew the path that was to lead me to Echo. I hadn't seen him for... It was... my face. 
Monica was dreaming of me at this very moment. My son. My love. One star was enough, and your story would start. Okay, so you press A and drag the joystick to move the thing around when you're holding it, but also, apparently, it can drag the whole so screen. This was where my son was. Imprisoned. Quietly sleeping in a cage. It wasn't the starting point I was expecting, but it was time for him to wake up. Every scene of this game looks different, doesn't it? Alright, so I... Oh, you can't. You can't change your settings anymore. Who could have trapped him? Ooh. Are you okay? Despite the shock, Echo was still imprisoned. A big rock was blocking his path. Yellow was the color that guided pilgrims along their journey. That's the phrasing they're sticking with, apparently, is that As the teller tense. of this story, I had some small power over this world. The power to help Echo when I could. Hmm. Was moving the rock very helpful? A rolling stone gathers no moss, but it easily catches bumps. This was only the beginning of Echo's troubles. I think he's and of dead. The difficult path that was going to make him a new being. I feel like I just watched a lethal car crash. Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're right. It's pretty. A little sparse. I can move Echo, Echo by knocking on grounds. Lego my, Lego my Echo. Pr kind of a sparse surrounding, but the color's nice. Hey there. Wait, is that Navi? That star had invited itself into my story. So much the better. It would most likely have a role to play in it. One of Echo's first challenges was a bridge. A bridge that had abandoned its purpose ages ago. Can I make a better br uh, a better bridge? All right. Slightly weird controls for the controller version of the game, so the right stick can make you look around, but also when you're trying to click on stuff, it makes you look around. These stars in the air could help me switch my point of view. Are we calling you a star? Or what? Oh, that. Okay. I can't change my settings now. Or is it here? No. Start and select both go to the same menu. Alright. I inverted my camera because out of habit, but it doesn't actually make as much sense right now. Okay. There we go. Come over here. Just trying to get run over. Trying to die. There we go. He's got this figured out. Yeah, if I, if I click here with A and then I press left stick, it makes my camera move. But right stick also controls the camera. I don't know why they did both. Because oftentimes I'll probably be trying to the interact with something. Seemed to know where it was going. And Echo only had ears for it. Like I'll, I'll probably be trying to interact with the environment and I might misclick a little bit and try to be like drag something. So like having it make the camera do that's kind of a bit much. I'm not sure why they did that. See that over here? Where are you? Oop. Whoops! This field held more surprises than the small streets of our village. The go. valley had put on her finest spring garments. But Echo only seemed to care for the star. Where was it taking him? The valley had put on her finest spring garments. There's some phrasing. Wait, 
How tall are those mushrooms? Because he's knee deep in the grass, but these mushrooms are on the surface. So they must be sticking way the hell up, huh? What's going on up here? Beyond this stream began the sacred lands. Only pilgrims had the right to enter, but the star didn't seem to care. I don't know what this thing's supposed to do. I can't do anything with it? Huh. There's a frog for some reason, I'm not sure why. You shall not pass, the bridge seemed to say. Objects can be so stubborn. Oop, oop. Oops, sorry for almost killing you. There must be some way to drop the bridge. Hmm. The gyroscope does not seem to be on, by the way, even though it said, I said for it to be turned on. So I'm guessing the gyroscope refers to handheld mode, where you probably look around by physically turning the camera around by, like, moving the entire switch around, and then as if you're viewing the world through a window. It's probably kind of immersive and neat. And the, so you probably, like, stand in your room and you, like, twist and turn to look around the room. And then you, like, touch things with your finger to affect what's going on on the screen. What am I missing here, though? Birdies? Can you help me, birdies? Well, I got stuck fast, didn't I? Oh, if I press the bumpers, I can switch between the, uh, bu the buttons I've seen so far. Ooh, what's that? Echo found a mechanism in the mouth of Talak, the stone head. Why didn't that work before? I've done that. I've tried already to do that. Okay, what's happening? In the fresco, a pilgrim placed their hand into the sculpture's mouth. A trial of trust. Oh, there we go. Now it's going. You'll probably get away with sticking your hand in its mouth. Just whatever you do, do not bind it in thread. If you bind it in a thread that confines it, it's going to bite your arm off. And you won't even successfully prevent Ragnarok, so what's the point? What are these for? It's a leaf blowing amongst the mountains. Yep, right back to the mountains. Collectible, I guess? So the secret is I need to find another perspective, I guess. But also, he wouldn't go in the frog at first. Later, a freshly hatched pilgrim was about to tread upon the sacred ground. Go, 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 go. Does she call him a freshly hatched pilgrim? What phrasing? 
feeling the beaten down grass against his legs, Echo understood that something had made a stop here before moving on. Something big. This uh, depth of field's a little out of control. Look at this blur. Oh, I guess it's based on the location of your of your hand. Yeah, whatever you point your your hand at's in focus. Hmm. Weapons were forbidden in the sacred lands. I have a weapon. Oh. He's not interested. <laughs> That may not have accomplished much, besides making me lose it. Echo has never been afraid of climbing obstacles. My son approached the temple with confidence. He loved the old stones that told many stories under his fingers. Oop. Found a scroll, apparently. The leaf again? Bl 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 blowing to like a hill in the middle of a pond or something? Oops, I meant, to, I meant to flip it around. Press the wrong button. Hmm. They're hoping something will happen. Oh, there we go. I was like, can I have another perspective, please? Can't tell what's happening over here. Who should I kill? You? Are you the thing I'm supposed to kill? <laughs> Echo's never been afraid of climbing obstacles. That wasn't really the... The trackers had set up camp here. Their hunt was long. Their prey resistant. Echo climbing obstacles wasn't really the core thrust of what was happening on the screen at that moment. I'm not sure what this thing's for. Hmm. Hmm. The door opened on a sound only Echo could hear. Can you get up here? Or is it too tall? Oh, he's got it. Star was waiting for Echo to step out, but this door wouldn't open by itself. If I could find something to throw, I could reach that target. So that's a target. Okay. Oh. Yo. You all right, buddy? Oh. Sad snake. Echo was finally free. Something important was to happen. Oh, man. I didn't know there was a third Sekiro snake. Yes. Kid, you're you're in strike range. I would I would not recommend. It 
was there, so close. The breath that resonated in the valley. What the star had wanted him to see. It was an Amlak Ebab, a snake god. Serpent gods traveled calmed by the child's presence. The snake let itself go. This was the first time Echo witnessed a death and a birth. The serpent had left an egg. I was not skipping the dialogue, so I don't know what happened there. I was going to say it's a strange amount of trust to place, but I guess the servant was on its way out. So it had to find trust. Yeah, there he is. Uh, careful, careful. The egg of a god. An egg god. What a burden for such a young child. What to do now? Which way to go? The egg seemed to have an idea, but it needed a support to express it. It needed a support. What does that mean? Something around here? The Ankalau was allowing my son to gather a bit more weight in this world. I don't think that's what they wanted for me. Oh, my. oh, I'm cleaning it. Oh. That's unambiguous. You drew the eyes on that skull very low. That way. Wow, it's just gone now. So the answer was something that he couldn't even know. So it's only shown to me as this like perspective in the sky. I'm the only one that gets to know. The egg was heavy enough to allow Echo to push these slabs. One only had four senses. The other seemed ready to break at any moment. But their fragility was now shared. I swear he's currently carrying something that's like, it's got to weigh as much as he does. And there it stood, just like in the scriptures, just like in Echo's dreams, the temple of Isa, the gigantic home of the Amlak Ebab, the serpent god who would never return there. Check out the scale of that. Well, how are we going to get there? I guess we'll go through the chimes. I would generally take this direction to be important, right? I could reveal these frescoes covered by time. And he can't see them. In the last one, I was going to comment on the fact that you couldn't see them because it, you're forced to not be able to see it from the position of the button. But even on top of that, our character's blind. One, three, two, four. But where are the numbered bells? Hmm. 
Maybe they're revealed when this happens. Good, good. Where do I play the melody? One, three, two, four. Wait, take the egg with you. We need the egg because plot. If Mama gets reincarnated. Been a long way for Echo. No. Mama gets reincarnated, she's gonna be pissed if you lost the egg. No. Hmm. Oh, up here. I tried playing one, three, two, four with notes, like back there. I feel like this is a very similar perspective. It's entire, I guess. button. Here we go. I was wondering what the hell I was missing. Aha! The bells are where I thought they were. The voice actor fixed the line, but the subtitle didn't. The subtitle said it too was su was it too was sensitive to music too. I'm like, hang on a minute. <laughs> either either intentionally or automatically, the uh, voice actor self censored the uh, weird line. All right, well, this is curious. This is kind of neato. That might be as far as we make it for now. Oh, let's check this out. That might be the grand finale for now. But if you'd like to check this game out, there's a link in the description to the, to the uh, switch page, I guess. Which it knew well. Echo wondered if he would ever see it again. Thank you to the developers for sending me a code so I could preview their game. Echo's gonna go inside this temple and probably die. Wait, thought Echo, shaking. What's in there? A hero, said a voice, and it's you.